Hey everyone, today we're going to be taking a look at this Machoke and it doesn't look too bad here in this photo, but we're going to discover why this is a fake by using all of the methods that we previously discussed in the last two videos. I have a, we have the Machoke here for reference. It's weird that it picks it up as green sometimes. I guess my my filter or my green screen is uh, deleting its border. I'm gonna show you that it's actually yellow in person. We got this Ditto from a similar era as a uh, reference. So we'll be using him uh, as a direct comparison. Let's get right into it. So first off, we can uh, we can see we got Rosette. The, the card itself is definitely a little bit more glossy than a normal Pokemon card and the back coloring is, is certainly off at first glance. But if we still weren't sure, uh, maybe there was a defect, maybe we want to be 100% sure that this is a fake card, let's take a look at the criteria. So first off, uh, big red flag, big yellow flag, our yellow border is not solid yellow, it does have a little bit of magenta in there. I don't know what that circle is. I mean, you see defects like that on real cards too. Um, I don't know if that's the chemicals that are used or, or whatnot, but it can leave little artifacts like that. Now, at first glance, you're thinking, okay, this is looking pretty good. Our text is nice and clean. That's a good sign. Let's go check our HP. Also nice and, nice and sharp. Maybe not perfectly sharp, but within the realm of, you know, this might be real. We have the rosette pattern, so immediately we know that someone didn't print this at home. I guess you, if if you had a Machop, the exact same Machop, I didn't dig one out, you probably have it. But uh, if you had the exact same one, you'd be able to hold them side by side and, and see some little differences. We have the Ditto, which should have the same background. Um, other than the, the artwork itself should be an identical card. I guess, and the text. Um, probably should have chosen a better example than the Ditto, who doesn't have an attack. But uh, let's continue to look at this card before we compare them. See if we can distinguish that it's a fake, uh, which the border kind of tells us that beforehand anyway. So down the bottom here, um, nothing sticking out a whole lot. Uh, we'll see when we see the other, other card side by side exactly what uh, what kind of issues we have there so here we go our text text is pretty good and there's certainly a reason for that so stay tuned if you guys like this series hit the subscribe button I'm sure I'll have lots of other videos I have lots of fakes to get through some sun bleach stuff and then uh, we can get in some experiments if you guys have suggestions as I mentioned in the previous ones leave them below anything that you'd like to see so uh, here uh, another red flag our blue border is got some speckles in it where normally it would be a very solid blue uh, the color is also off it's kind of hard to tell without a direct comparison next to it but uh, it certainly is all right um, let's take a look at our pokeball first I guess before we do a side by side. So we see some little color blemishes there, which is a pretty bad sign. Uh, typically, that doesn't happen, at least not to that extent. We got a nice rosette here, but uh, side by side, it looks like we got a little weird thing going on at the bottom of the ball there. It's got a little lump, a little little tumor. Probably not a good thing. I don't remember any pokeballs looking like that that I've seen. I don't know if that's uh, that could be dirt. I'm not sure. If it's ink, then it's uh, also another bad sign. <laughs> All right, so let's do a little side by side comparison here. Um, first off, the borders. So we'll see the fake card being on the top here. We can see that it has some some lines in it or some. Uh, magenta dots, some imperfections along the way. The 
cut on the bottom card is actually pretty bad. So let's do a side by side of the fighting energy would be pretty good to look at. Side by side fighting energy. Uh, we can see one at the fake on the top is actually more crisp than the bottom. So it looks like that fighting energy is actually done in a separate layer, the black part of it at least. Uh, our side by side of our colorless energy, those are also looking off. So on the, um, this guy here that I'm moving right now is the fake, he's on top. The rosette pattern is not really there in the colorless energy. So that's, uh, that's a big red flag. Colors are definitely different. Now let's get into the uh, the text. Let's use the bottom text. I guess is the biggest biggest example. So we'll see here that our fake card is much more bold than the real card. Uh, they're from different years, um, but to the same era. So it looks like they actually went through the trouble of adding the text separately. So that's where we run into the issue that we have a different font and a different, uh, certainly a different thickness. And then that becomes a little bit more obvious with these numbers here, which are the wrong size. I don't know if we have any similar letters. I guess we have the A in linear attack and the A in mega cake. Or we got the A in attack there, if we can get it on the screen. Let's see here. The small A, lowercase a. Lowercase a there on the real card, on the ditto. Lowercase a in steady punch. I don't know if I can actually get both of those on the screen at the same time. Have to do a side by side. Regardless, certainly different. Certainly some differences there. Uh, holding these side by side, you can right away see the the difference in color. The top card here that I'm moving right now is the real card. Nice dark blue, solid border. It is cracking a little bit. Uh, probably just dried out and due to age. And then the bottom card there, you see more of a speckle pattern within the blue, uh, which we've mentioned is probably a bad sign. Let's look at our P. Let's do our P test. Our P's. Let's see if we can get them both on there. I guess it might be easier if we do a top and bottom P. So. Mm -hmm. Maybe not. P's next to each other. Uh, so, fake P, if you look inside the, uh, the P itself, certainly different. We don't have that signature checker pattern with the yellow. Instead, we just have kind of a mess. It must just, with scans and, and things like that, probably just has a really hard time copying that. You can also see on the P here itself that the shadows uh, along the, the hole in the P and the bottom, certainly a lot different. So it didn't pick that up as the right color. Um, let's compare the, the rosette on the Pokeball looked pretty good other than the lump on the bottom of it. So maybe we'll take a look at that. This is the, the real rosette. pretty clean. This is the fake. Also not bad. I mean there's some imperfections in there. Definitely some colors that aren't where they're supposed to be. Not completely uniform. We got that lump on the bottom. Um, here we have a nice clean round edge. Certainly makes a difference. I don't know if there's anything else that we really wanted to compare. I guess we can compare the, uh, the fighting symbol up at the top and the HP. I almost need a little bit more space on the screen. So our HP looking pretty good. 
Uh, we can tell that uh, the font is not exactly the same, especially on the zero. There's a pretty, pretty big difference. The 60 HP being the real card, the ditto, and the 80 HP being again a little bit thicker. Uh, looks like our our zero on the 80 is filled in a little bit more. Let me look at the uh, the fighting. Quite a bit darker. I think everything is a little bit darker on the fake card. So again, when you look at it side by side, just because uh, a card is a little bit darker or lighter doesn't necessarily mean that it's fake, but uh, it might be a good reason to become suspicious. It seems like the uh, the fake card is actually cut maybe even a little bit nicer than the real one. The real one being on the uh, on the screen here now, it looks at the edges are rounded a little bit weird, but that's kind of EX era issues. Uh, I think that's pretty well it. I guess we can check the, uh, let's check the core on this one. Core test. And I guess I can hold them up side by side. This one is almost exactly the right size to be a real card, unlike the, the last one that we looked at that was um, a little bit off. Here we go. So now let's look on the real card we can see we have the inner layer there we have our blue or yellow on the outside and our core in the middle I guess I can probably zoom in on that there we go this might be a little bit better than last time sorry about the uh, the shakiness I promise that that's just when you have something at this high magnification that's gonna happen almost perfect there so there there's a nice shot of that uh, core paper I think it's graphite. I think Tavis said something about that. So, and you can even see some of the dots that kind of go into the edge. Real card. Now the fake card. It's gonna be hard to get this. Maybe we zoom out first. This one's a little bit curved, so it's hard to. Uh, Get it perfect there. Um, let's see here. All right. Take a look at the edge of the fake card. Bring it into focus because the height is a little bit different. There we go. So as we can see, it looks pretty good from the outside at this angle, but uh, certainly no core paper in there. Or not the not the same process used to create the card. So we have a fake on our hands. Uh, again, this was something that you could tell by the feel of the card. It uh, it does have a nice snap to it, but uh, certainly way more glossy and faded kind of looking, especially on the back. The blue is uh, certainly had a whack. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in. See you next time. Probably do another fake examination. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And if you'd like to see more, see you guys in the next one.